What is up, car addicts? In this video, we'll be customizing the brand new Ubermock Zion Classic in GTA Online. Here is the car right here. It is part of the Casino Drip Feed. It costs $812,000 and it officially released today, September 19th, 2019, at about 5 a.m. Eastern Time. So, right now, you can buy it. It's available for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. So, $812,000, and it's in the Sports Classics class, which is kind of interesting because the Sentinel Classic, which you see here next to it, which is the most similar vehicle to it, is in the sports class. So you have two vehicles that look very similar, but they're both in different classes. One's in sports classics, and the other one's in sports. So of course, this is the Zion Classic, which is the classic variant of this coupe vehicle right here, which I'm sure many of you have. It's one of the best all-round coupes for racing. And then the Sentinel Classic, which is based off the, you know, which is a classic version of the regular Sentinel. So I have them all there side by side so you can kind of compare. And comparing uh, these two, which are very similar, I mean, if one of them flies by, you kind of have to like look again to kind of make sure which is which, because they are that similar. Um, we also got the Oracle here and the infamous SC1. So, what is the Zion Classic based off of? It's based off the first generation BMW M6. So before all the crazy modern M6 BMWs that you've seen, this was the first one. Um, it was this, the model is called the E24. That was the generation. Uh, you know BMW is kind of weird with their names, E36 and e E24 and all that stuff. But this was the E24 BMW M6. Good looking car. I mean, 80s and 90s were you know you always had these different designs. Awesome. All right, so let's kind of see what kind of customization we got here. So we do have the interior from the Deluxo, and the Sentinel Classic does share the same interior. Right on the D-pad to modify. What can we do to it? All right, let's see what we got here. Now what do you so need? we got armor, brakes, bumpers, primary painted stock. Street. Okay, so it changes the grill in the bottom. Okay, tuner doesn't look bad. Is that a lot lower than the other ones? Oh, it's the same height. Okay. And drift. Okay. How many cars you got in this garage hmm. again? I mean, I, not, I like the like, like the fog lights we get, the stock version. I like that. And the tuner one, we lose that, and the plates moved over to the side, and the drift one just looks weird to me. So, now we'll just throw the tuner on there, why not? Primary painted tuner, rear bumper, so you got a primary a painted drink? stock. Bubbles or something? And then you got a tuner. So it does have a hole on the other side, I'm guessing maybe there's like a dual exhaust option in the exhaust upgrades. Okay. So I guess we'll do that. Don't we'll do a dual exhaust pretty. if we see that option. If not, we'll go back and <laughs> change this. So we got roll cages. So you got a street cage, which does give you carbon seats. Then you got a sports cage, which is more of like an intensive roll cage with uh, black racing seats for the green seat belts. And then the black racing seats for the red seat belts. And then the padded cage. I really wish Rockstar would separate these categories because you know what if you want one of these racing seats but you don't want the roll cage, you're, like, you're forced to have both, which is really annoying. And on this car, I don't really see it with a roll cage. It just looks weird with a roll cage. Not too much of a fan of that. I might do this one, the street cage, because it's not really too noticeable. But I like these seats. I don't like these seats. <laughs> so, like, there's like so many compromises you have to make here for no reason. I wish Rockstar would just separate the categories, but is what it is. Um, I don't, I don't like these seats, so I guess I'll just keep no the stock seats. Uh, engine, exhaust. All right, there you go. Dual stock exhaust. Not bad. Looks pretty good. Is so a chrome tipped version of that? Titanium, carbon tipped, and aluminum tipped. I think I'll do the chrome dual tip. That looks pretty good. Fenders, secondary, and carbon. Okay, headlights, okay, so you have the stock ones, and then you have headlight wipers, so that's pretty cool. 
kind of reminds me of like the '90s cars from back then, like the Mercedes and stuff that had the the wipers and the headlights. And you have the headlight tape. Not not bad. Okay. So I'll do the stock one. The the wipers look kind of like angry eyes or something. I don't know. It looks weird. <laughs> I'll do the stock ones. Hood. So you got carbon stock version of the hood. And you got a shark nose, which is like the stock one, but kind of like goes all the lines kind of go off to the sides, kind of weird. Okay. And you got an intake scoop. All right. Cover version of that. Why? Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> oh my gosh. See, I mean, this is this is what GTA is for. So you can do <laughs> stuff that makes no sense. Oh my god. The shark nose one looks strange, and then the this one you lose those the back vents, which I actually like a lot. I'm not really feeling any of those. I'll just I guess I'll keep the stock one. <laughs> okay, lights. So Whatever you got the stock you yellow lights, Technology and then you can do xenons if you want. Keep the stock ones. We kind of have something different, you know. Everybody has the bluish LED lights. Obviously, in the arena you can do the yellow, but. This doesn't look as yellow as the yellow arena lights. They're kind of like more like um, a very light yellow kind of color, which I like on like the older cars in the game. Moving on to the liveries, so you got the premier livery. That's pretty cool. Redwood Racing. Okay, Baracho Beer. Ubermock, pretty sick. Estancia cigars. All right, waifu wheels, and there you go. That's the one. You know, I'm sure many of you saw this in the leaked pictures and stuff of the drift feed cars. But there you go. This is the one that has the body pillow on the back. It's the waifu wheels one, which is the princess robot uh, bubblegum livery. So that's kind of funny. And Paul tires livery, douche rally livery, piss washer beer. And the last one is just a rusted out one. Okay, not Life bad. The premier one doesn't look too bad, but it has the white font. If you're trying to go for like a different color combo, it really doesn't look that good. But I do want to mention that white line that you see going across the car, that is your secondary color. Similar to the Sentinel Classic, it has well, pretty much the same thing. So, so the, if you do like a red line, let's say, then the white premier logo won't look that good. No rush at all. So, yeah. So I'm going to do... Let's go here to the mirrors. We have primary mirrors, secondary, and then carbon. I do a secondary. Once we go to the colors, I'll mess around with that. But for now, they're chrome, so we'll definitely get rid of that. We'll do primary for now. Uh, license plate. Black. I don't think I have any, like, BMW-style plates. Uh, do 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 No, I really don't. I just do uh it's kinda kinda like a luxury car but more sporty. To match the driver. Okay. Then we got oh we got a roof upgrade too. Okay. Oh respray, let's do that. So for this one I was thinking of like a black with like red trim. Cause you know the picture I showed you earlier, the real car was all red, which is like cars very well known in that color, you know, magazines and stuff. So, um, I'm definitely going to do a black. So we're going to use my crew black, which is actually a darker black. But we'll apply matte black first and then put the crew on top of that. Oh, yeah. It's like a pure black. If you look at the regular black in the game, which I'll apply that first. And then I'll go back to the crew color. You can see how much darker it is. I'm definitely going to apply that. The secondary, I'm going to do the red. That looks really good. Absolutely love that. Awesome. Your cosmetics are on point. A gremlin would go right there on the side of the door. Roof. You got an antenna upgrade. Roof luggage. Primary roof spoiler. Okay. Which does not add traction, by the way. And then a red roof spoiler. And then the window louvers. Window louvers don't look too bad. You know, very 80s slash 90s. <laughs> Um, 
But it doesn't look bad. It kind of adds a little bit of something to the car. I'll throw it on there. Girl is looking good. Side skirts. So you got painted trim, which will look weird against the top painted trim. And you got extended skirts. Okay. Carbon. They have performance skirts. Carbon version of those. Then you got the drift skirt, which is really nice because it, it kind of finishes off the arches and squares them off at the bottom. I love that. The secondary carbon. Alright, so definitely the drift skirts. It looks it, awesome. I can do it. Rear spoiler, primary ducktail. Thank you, Rockstar. Unfortunately, we have those ugly silver rods to like reinforce it, but at least we have a ducktail option and it does increase the traction as you can see. You got a secondary carbon trunk luggage. Oh my gosh. So you can have the roof luggage and the trunk luggage. <laughs> oh jeez. Then you have the Whatever street spoiler. Design. Technology and budget permitting. Performance. Okay. At least there really aren't too much like a crazy big wing spoilers. These are kind of like smaller. So I'm definitely gonna do the primary ducktail. I think that looks awesome. Don't she look pretty? Suspension, definitely gonna slam this. Oh yeah. That looks awesome. Transmission, turbo. Wheels. Okay, so for this one I'm gonna go with the wheels that are as close as possible to the real car in real life. Uh, so we go to the lowrider category, and then you got a fresh mesh, and those are the most similar ones right there. Yeah, right there. And might, let me see how they look in chrome because they look a little weird with the alloy. Yeah, they look a little better in chrome. Let's do that. Okay. Windows. They go throw a light smoke on there. Why not? Body work to match and that's the it. Driver. That's all the upgrades for it. Um, very simple. I mean, you can make it crazy. You mean you can make it a simple street build. You can make it a crazy, you know, track car build or even a rally car build with the taped headlights. You know, it's up to you. But I went for a simple street build here. So let's go ahead and exit to the ground. All right. Let's see how it sounds. That's pretty good. The Sentinel Classic does have like has to have a like a higher pitched engine note though. This one does sound a little deeper. With decent wheel spin off the line. Acceleration feels okay. Wow, I just went over a bump there and I lost a lot of steering feel. <laughs> Things very jumpy over the bumps. That's weird. Very vague steering input. Handling feels very floaty, I can tell. And it feels like it's getting decent boost over the bumps. Over a curb here. Yeah, the handling... Wow, it just got a random speed boost there. This is weird, and every time it gets a speed boost, you kind of lose steering feel. This is a weird driving experience. I am not liking this at all. So every time I go over a bump, I lose steering feel. That's so weird. Maybe this car might have the handling flags similar to the Class A Vamos from the Arena War DLC, if you guys remember that. You could go over bumps, how it would like, steer by itself. Those are the vibes I'm getting from this car right now. It feels very strange. The Sensato Classic drives like a normal car, you know, very nimble, how it should be, no ridiculous handling flags, and this one just, it feels, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not liking the driving experience of this car at all right now. Um, I really hate when Rockstar starts putting random handling flags in cars and pretty much ruining them in my opinion. Kind of sucks when they do that. But hey, at least we have the car in the game for people that wanted it. It's a good looking car and you can take it to car meets and look at it in your garage and all that stuff. I mean, it's a good looking car and has some good customization as well. So let's see if uh, all the doors open up here. I don't know if that spoiler is going to affect the trunk opening, but I guess we'll see. 
Oh, it doesn't. Okay, so it's part of the edge of the trunk. So everything opens up. That's nice. There you go. You got the Deluxo interior. Normal trunk. Nothing too crazy. Got the engine bay, which does open the other way. I like that. Very nice. Not bad. I mean, it's it's a good it's a good looking car, and the price. I mean, it's it's okay. It's not that bad. Eight hundred and twelve thousand plus upgrades. You're gonna be all in about a million dollars, maybe a little bit more. Um, not too bad. I mean, these days, any car they add in GTA that's under a million dollars is kind of worth it because you know now we have three million dollar cars and stuff like that. Boxers just gotten way out of hand with the prices. Um, I would have personally priced this somewhere around the three hundred thousand dollar, four thousand dollar range. Um, so let's see how much a Sentinel Classic is really quick, just so we can get a decent comparison. I'm sure, it should be somewhere close to the top here. There it is, six hundred and fifty thousand for the Sentinel Classic, which is in the sports class, and then eight hundred and twelve thousand for the Zion Classic, which is in the sports classics class. So there you go. Um, I guess if maybe some of you already have a Sentinel Classic. You're thinking of adding this one to your collection and park it next to it. I mean, if you already have a Sentinel, you might as well buy this one and kind of park them side by side. You know, they're both DFWs from the same era. So, I mean, definitely a decent car. As far as if it's worth the purchase, um, based on the driving feel, it's not going to do well in the Sports Classic races. It's not. That's just not. Maybe in a straight line, it might do decent. But as far as handling... This thing is very unpredictable, to say the least. Uh, I did not like the driving experience at all in this car. Hope you enjoyed, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.